Welcome back to Toon Track Speedway as round two is about to begin. And once again, a special thank you to Silverback Racing for sponsoring this event along with Slandman Customs. We have 16 cars remaining and the winners will go on to the quarterfinals. If you've been enjoying this so far, be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow us here at Toon Tracks Racing. So now let's go take a look at the round two matchups. As you can see, we have four cars making their debut, which had a buy in round one. These cars consist of the Tesla Model 3, the 2011 Corvette Grand Sport, the Lotus Esprit S1, and a 2009 Ford Focus RS. So let's head down to match one. We have Computer MD82 and his Ender Fact 4 going up against Tesla Model 3 driven by Racer X. And they're off. And his Ender Fact 4 has a lead. And he's opening up the distance. Going around Ben 2. It looks like he's got the win. And he secures the first win for round two. And he will be the first car heading to the quarterfinals. So coming down a ramp, you can see the Zender Fact 4 with a comfortable lead. And it only gets bigger as he passes Bend 1. Then heading down into the second stretch, going around Bend 2. He pretty much already has this in control. And just cruises in for the win. So computer MD82 gets a 902 time and a Zender Fact 4. Congratulations. Next in a Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo, we got BB Wolf going up against the Dodge Viper RT10, driven by Kevin F. The engines are rubbing. And they're off. And the Viper with the slight lead going into the first bend. And here comes the Lamborghini Super Trofeo. And the Lamborghini overtakes the Viper. And the Viper was making a push, but he ran out of real estate. And this gives BB Wolf the victory, and he too will be heading to the next round. You can see the Viper with a slight lead over the Super Trofeo. And it is right here. BB Wolf makes his move, overtakes the Viper, but the Viper does not give up. He puts up a fight, and he starts to close in. But by then, it's too late as the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo crosses the finish line 10 seconds flat. Congratulations to BB Wolf, you are going to the quarterfinals. For the third matchup, we got the 2011 Corvette Grand Sport driven by El Diablo going against the Chevy Nomad driven by Ian Parks. And they're revving their engines and they're off. And the Chevy Nomad is a slate and here comes the Grand Sport. And the Chevy Nomad comes on and they're trading spots. Looks like the Chevy Nomad's got it now. Grabs the win and defeats the 2011 Corvette Grand Sport in a sensational race where first place was traded multiple times. You can see it here as the overtake after overtake happens. Each car vying for the lead. But it's at this point right here the Chevy Nomad grabs the lead for good and cruises in for the win. And he will be moving on. Congratulations Ian Parks. So Ian Parks in a Chevy Nomad grabs a 946 time and we'll move on. So let's go take a look at our chopper cam and see what he sees. What is our chopper up to? Is he lost again? Sorry about that folks. So up next we have the Dodge Challenger driven by Big Slim going up against the fan favorite 2008 Lancer Revolution driven by Spanners Watson. This is going to be a good one, folks. And here they come. And the Dodge Challenger grabs the other lead. But here comes the Evolution. He's pouring it on, but it's going to be the Dodge Challenger. And the Captain America theme taking the victory. As he edges out the fan favorite 2008 Lancer Evolution. And what a race this was. I thought the 2008 Lancer Evolution was going to come back and grab the win. But the Dodge Challenger, driven by Big Slim, says uh-uh, and grabs the win, and he will proceed on to the quarterfinals. What a spectacular race. So with the 944 time, Big Slim does his thing and moves on with the Dodge Challenger. So in the Battle of Yellow, we have the Fair Lady 2000, driven by Jimmy John, 
going up against the Lotus Esprit S1, driven by Goose. Talk to me, Goose. And they're off, and it looks like the Fair Lady's got the lead. But here comes the Lotus Esprit S1. He overtakes him, and he grabs the win. What a victory. Goose hit that last bend harder than he had 14 canopy, and that gives him the win as he will move on out of the quarterfinals. But let's take another look at this. As the Fair Lady had a substantial lead, I thought he had it, but then the Lotus just pours it on, comes from behind, overtakes him, and grabs the win. Congratulations, Goose. He comes in with a 9.48 time, and he will move on. And here's our track mascot, Freddy the Yeti, saying hello, and hopefully not eating any more spectators. So our next race features the Fiat 500C, driven by Crazy Coach, going up against the Dodge Challenger Drift Car, driven by Boog. This should be another close race, folks. And they're off. And the Dodge has an early lead. The Fiat 500C is making a move. This is going to be close. And it's the Dodge Challenger. He did not win by much. The Fiat 500C started pouring on the heat. But the Dodge Challenger managed to fend him off. And he grabs the win. And he will move on. Great driving by Boog. The Fiat 500C definitely gave him a challenge. And this race was very close. How close? This close. So Boog in a Dodge Challenger drift car gets a 940 and we will see him in the quarterfinals. So up next we got the 2009 Ford Focus RS driven by Global Collectors Diecast going up against Dopey Racer in a Jaguar XJ220. Here they come. Looks like the Jaguar's got the early lead. He is pouring it on. It looks like he's got this one in the bag. And Dopey Racer walks away with his second win. And we will see him too in the corner finals. And that Jaguar XJ220 always proves to be a formidable opponent. Just look at the ease as he takes those bends. And here he is coming around into the home stretch. And he's already got the focus by a couple lengths. He just cruises in for the win. And that car is impressive. So Dopey Racer picks up the victory with the 970 time in the Jaguar XJ220. So this leaves us with the last race of the day. And it's going to be a doozy as we have the 79 Ford F-150 driven by Lee for Sam going up against the 1985 Honda CRX. Driven by the Professor, and this one is proven to be the dark horse of the tournament. And there they go, and this one looks like it's going to be tight. The Ford F-150 has to leave, but here comes the Honda CRX. He blows past them. And he's got this one wrapped up. And he just defeated a formidable 79 Ford F-150. That was not an easy opponent to defeat, and he just blew right by him. I am in awe. I don't think many had the CRX going this deep into the tournament. And he has been proving us all wrong. And once again, the professor is schooling us on how to race. So with a 916 time, the professor in a 1985 Honda CRX will stake its claim in the quarterfinals. With round two complete, let's take a look at the upcoming matchups for the quarterfinals. So we will have four matches coming up next. And just eight cars remain out of this 28 car field that comprise the Silverback Racing Charity Event. The playoff rounds will be one and done, the same as round one and round two, but the championship will be a best of five. So we hope you enjoyed this installment of the Silverback Racing Charity Event be sure to like and subscribe if you have not. And hit the notification button so you do not miss any future episode. And we will see you here soon at Toon Tracks Racing. Take care all and stay safe.